Well, good morning. It's me again on a bright sunny day in Edenbridge in Surrey, I believe. I'm at Edenbridge in Lockstead uh, Agricultural Solar Day. As you can see behind me, horses are warming up, tractors, horses, cattle, bit of everything today. Lovely country life. I hope I make a better job of this one than I did of the last ones. Still apologising for the last videos, but there you go. But um, if you like this video, don't forget to get a like for me, I do appreciate it. And if you haven't already, think about subscribing to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything, and it'd be good to have you along with me. Anyway, let's get on with this video, shall we? Cheers for now. Good morning. How are you doing today? Yeah, good day to you. Yeah, great. Have you got a bit more warm-up? Uh, just, warm uh, just walking off Dad's horse. Fantastic. Tell us your name, please. Phoebe Farmer. Thanks. And where are you from, Phoebe? Sorry. Sorry. Thank you, Phoebe. Good morning. Good How are you this this morning? Are you setting up? Setting up. Setting up. Absolutely. Setting up. Is the Prosecco coming out shortly? A bit early. A bit early. The coffee first. Coffee first. And then the Prosecco. Yes. Oh, okay. Are you sponsoring the event today? Or? No, no we're, we're governors. Just governors. Just, just governors, governors today. Yes, and uh, you're going to enjoy the day, are we? Thank you. I hope I'm so. Thinking, I think I'm the so forecast sure. isn't so good later, but this morning looks lovely. So. Fantastic. Are you uh, come a long way, have you? Rygate. Rygate. Oh, not too far. No, no, no. Anyway, can I be personal and say your name, please? Hugh and Liz Roberts. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. You're very welcome. Cheerio. Okay. Okay. Well, good morning. Hello. Good morning. And uh, are you going to enjoy today? We are. Oh. You we are? Yeah. And you're all set up for a luncheon? Picnic, that's yeah. right, yes. Picnic. Yep. And what is on the menu today? Uh, um, quiche, I think, isn't it? Sorry? Quiche, a homemade bit of salad. Quiche. Homemade, homemade quiche. quiche and salad, homemade yeah. Really and maybe a beer or two or a prosecco. A bottle of, oh. bottle of prosecco, definitely. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Have a lovely day, guys. Thank you very much. Have you come far? Just from Oxted and <laughs> Dorman's Land, yeah. Thank you for your All time. Right, Appreciate okay. it. Cheerio. Bye. Good morning. Good morning. 
Well, we're ready for the nice show today. Hopefully, well, yeah. there we are. You look as though you mean business. I'll try to. Well. <laughs> Let's get you all in shot. That'd want be great. Shot? Do you want a shot? That's a great shot. Have you come far? Yeah, we've come from Lyme Regis. Oh, Lyme Regis? Yeah. That's a distance and a bit, isn't it? <laughs> Just a bit, yeah. Okay. And tell us your, your family name. My name's French. French? Corbin. Corbin. And the young ladies? French. Corbin. And, but I want your first name, girls. Come on. <laughs> Sasha. Sasha. I'm Pam. Thank I'm you. Chris. Chris. Hugh. Thank you, guys. Okay. I don't know, you. often ask to ask the young lady's name, so <laughs> I've got to take every opportunity. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Good morning. How are you today? Are you enjoying the show so far? Give us a wolf. Fantastic. What about this thing on top? That looks a bit nice, doesn't it? Would you like that? That's the one. Hello. Hello. Hi, guys. Hello. Are you going to enjoy the show today? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Have you got anyone in the ring to the, today, or are you just uh, watching? We provide the horses for the farriers competition. Oh, fantastic! So we've got six horses here today and six tomorrow. Oh, it's so a busy day for you guys. Very busy day, yes. Why are you sitting down there? <laughs> coffee. coffee. We need a coffee. Pims. Been up since. Pims. <laughs> right, that girl there. She's a lady of her own art there. Fantastic. Tell us your names. I'm Tracy. I'm Debs. I'm Sophie. Sophie, why, why are you here, Sophie? Just for the pims, really. Oh, well, well. Yeah. <laughs> no, I And the guys, can I film the lit then? Yeah, fine, yeah. Yeah, and the guys help for you? Yeah, I'm Paul. Paul? I'm Steve. Steve? And what's your name? Austin. Austin? That's a fantastic name. He's not like Steve Austin, the champ, the, the man in Stone America. Cold is Steve he? Austin, wrestler. Mm. Yeah? Fantastic. <laughs> are you going to have a great day? Yeah. Great. Anyway, let's hope to see you all later. Anyway, guys, yeah, have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Oh, that's my meal ticket. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Seven to four. Next, uh, Keith Doyle coming forward and want to really give it a go. He has right. He's riding Patricia Brown's the flying box. Number seven two four. And what brings you here today to the Eden Bridge Oxley show? I have come here with a group of friends to enjoy the activities that are going on. Fantastic. Are you a sponsor of any of the events today? Um, somebody I'm with is Someone doing with something like that. I'm not quite sure. Oh. I know we got in very easily. Fantastic. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Ricky Nichols and I come from Whiteley. Thanks for your time, Ricky. That's right. Have Cheer a good out. day. Bye. And a lovely young lady there, obviously, that they don't need a coffee for. Good morning, guys. Good morning. How are we all today? Good morning. It's a bright, sunny day. <laughs> we hope it will be. It will be. And this so. young, I'm going to speak to this young lady here as well. I like to speak to all the ladies. Prettier than there. I am. Yes. Well, excellent. So, are you sponsoring anybody today? No. 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 no just a little drink, loads of just prosecco. <laughs> Loads of food. Just have a lovely day. We'll gather around our cars um, in the, for lunchtime with a few other friends and uh, have a little libation. Yes. A little libation. <laughs> Sounds excellent. It's a shame I've got this camera, else so I'll be joining you. Anyway, have a great day, guys. And just tell us quickly, run round the table. What's your name? Roger. Roger. Chris. Chris. Adrian. Adrian. And pretty lady at the end. Angela. 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 Ange oh, two lovely Angelas. And an Annabelle. And Annabelle. Anne. <laughs> Anne. I love Annabelle. And, and, we've, and, Annabelle. and we've all as a group, we've been coming here for the last 35, 40 years. Fantastic. Oh, from when it was a years big don't look that old. <laughs> <laughs> so were you? 41, 42? Yeah, that's right. Like yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I that's understand. Right. I'm only 20 ish. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Cheers, Have Mark. a great day, guys.
How are you this morning? All right. Great. We want to get to the members' marquee. Can we get around yes, there? Yes, you just follow it all the way round and straight. Yep, right. Much obliged to you. Thank you. Sure, Ollie. Yeah. Good morning, Top Wells. Good morning. How are we doing today? Very good, thank you. Are you good? Yeah, good. Nice little display you got on show today, haven't you? I, I believe so, yes. Yeah, a couple of tractors. Yeah. Some toys. Well, they're not toys. They're the big man's toys, some of them, they're aren't big, they're they? All, they're toys for everyone. Toys for everywhere. And shirts and overalls. Yep, all so, sorts. Tell me, Top Wells, where are they based? Where are they based? We're based uh, in Sussex, Essex, Kent, Suffolk. Uh, have I missed anywhere? Hertfordshire, all across up the south east basically. And you're a John Deere dealership? We're a John Deere dealership. And the range of uh, machines you cover from is uh, tractors to... Oh, oh, Will. Oh, there's a chap in the background, oh. he's talking to me yeah. as well. Come front and centre fella. He'll talk to you about the machines. Fantastic, we <laughs> like someone who talks to me. I, I have trouble getting people camera. to talk to me, but... Um, him? So, Start with, what's your name? My name's Robin. Robin, that's a fantastic name. Robin, hey, that, is it's that the best name. Uh, I'll tell you what, if I had to pick a name, oh it is, I yeah. am Robin. So oh, right. okay. good looking people, and your name is? Will. Will. James. James. Speak up James, so I'm, I'm a bit mutton, so you've got to speak up to <laughs> So, from tractors to what? So you go all the way from the biggest John D you can get, all the way down to a little lawnmower like that. A little lawnmower like that, he's pointing and I can't point the camera. Fantastic. Now they've got a bit of a reputation John Deere of being a reliable machine, haven't they? That's very true. And uh, are they still reliable? Yeah, well, of course they are. Because there's a lot of cheap tra uh, tractors coming over from China at this present time, isn't there? It uh, so, could be, yeah. And uh, you've got to compete, obviously, so you're not lowering your standards no, at all. No, no, premium product, premium brands. That's it. And, uh, and let's face it, if you've been to John Deere before, you're going to come back, aren't you? Yeah. And the backup service, you offer good backup yeah. service? Full 24 7 service. Fantastic. Now, oh, 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 what's the taking me? Um, <laughs> Obviously, because uh, things break down in harvest, yeah. so you've got a guy with a computer, I presume, because you don't need tools these days, do you? <laughs> no, you still need a spanner. Still need a spanner? Yeah. And he, he could go out 24-7? Yeah, 24-7, yeah. we've got combines on stack waiting in the yard. If there is oh, all right, so you can swap over straight away. Yeah. Yeah. We, we can get parts, well, we hold a lot of stock, but we can get parts over from the main warehouse in Germany within 24 hours. Fantastic. Now, obviously, that sounds great, but a man in the field, 12 o'clock at night, with his big combine going, and he rings up to you and says, I'm stuck, what do I do? There'll be someone there. Someone, someone there, there, and if he can't fix it, you'll have a combine on the yeah, way, will you? we can't get it going again, within 24 hours, there'll be the exact same combine in his field going. Because it's costing money, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And not and only got... that, the neighbours are complaining about the noise. <laughs> yeah. That's Probably a bit like of a... Three million quid's worth of parts, yeah. just for combines. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, I appreciate your time, guys, no and... Uh, have a great day. You oh, too. he's another fella over the background. Who are you? He's the turf I'm, man. I'm You're a oh, turf man, Stuart. Yeah. I'm going to have a wander around over your machines and uh, press Stuart or yourself. Stuart can, can do it. I've done my bit. You've done your <laughs> bit. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Well, See you later. Good day, mate. Yeah. <laughs> well, good morning. Good morning. Are you enjoying yourself today? You having fun? You having fun? <laughs> That's a lovely tractor. I've got a few of them. Oh. They're great tractors. Can Scarlett drive a tractor? <laughs> yeah, are you from a farm? Is your, does your daddy drive a tractor? Your daddy drives a tractor. What colour tractor does he drive? 
not get them. <laughs> not them, not them. I understand, you know. That's my best friend, this one here. I've got no other friends. This Aww, one's my friend. She's trying to make friends. Oh, uh, I'm trying to make friends with you. <laughs> What's their names, darling? Scarlett and Lizzie. Scarlett and Lizzie. Fantastic <laughs> names we like. And your name is? Rebecca. Rebecca. And where are you from, Rebecca? Um, Uckfield. Uckfield. So no, not, not too far. far. Not too far. Well, have a great day, guys. And you, thank you. Bye. <laughs> Good morning. I've come to see my favourite people. I haven't seen you at Harvest this year. I don't want to offend the family anymore, I've done in the past, so I try to keep away. So, um, good morning, <laughs> how are we doing, Andrew? Fine, thank you. Right, you've got a night. Oh, sorry, I might disturb you. I'll come back in a second. I'll come back in a second. We'll have a chat. Don't you run away, because I'll have a chat with you as well. Good morning. Hi, Is this yours? Belongs to my grandparents. Is it? It's a lovely looking machine. Do you enjoy driving it? Uh, yeah, it's nice to drive. Is it, what is it? Explain what it is to me. It's a Foden steam wagon. It's a what? Foden steam wagon. Of course it's Foden, because Foden made everything, didn't they, back in the day, didn't they? Oh, they made quite a bit, yeah. Yeah. And how um, long have you owned it for? My grandparents bought it in 1994, so it'll be 30 years next year. Was it in this condition when they bought it? it? No, we did it up, my drug, well, they had someone do it up for them like this. Yeah. Before that, it was in... Uh, Jennings Brewery Colours. Yep. Um, with like wooden slats and bobby on the back. And they were there to get the here. Like we didn't have the doors, we didn't have the brass covered for the safety guard. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we did that. And um, before the war, in, from like 1929, we killed until up to the beginning of the war. She worked for West Ride in Kent Council. So, can I ask a quick question? Can you speak up a little bit for me, please? Um, I'll tell you what, let me come closer to you. All right. right well, for, so it was up to the war it was uh, going, was it? Yeah, it was up to the war was going. Built 1929 as a three-way tipper for West Riding County Council. Um, and, yeah, so it's been, that was ours originally, and then sent to Howard, the scrapyard, in the 60s. But, but it was obviously saved and then look, most of this is, most of the parts are original I believe. Fantastic. Yeah. So what was back the woodwork? Did you have to redo all the woodwork? Yeah, uh, yeah, you were, we were back to redo all the woodwork. Do, do me a favour, you've got a lovely little a squeaky hole there, give it a squirt for me, would you? <coughs> Fantastic. So what's your name then? I'm Dylan Jones. And the, and the, the, the owner of the vehicle's called? Gary. Thanks for your time, mate. I That's appreciate right. that, then. <laughs> Hello, you. What are you on? What are you doing? Oh, I'm spooking you, am I? No. I love talking to a young lady. How are you this morning? I'm good, thank you. Thank you. I'm now, good. you just asked me why have I been to yes. Harvest today? Yes. <laughs> well, I don't want to be a pain to everybody, but it's lovely to see you and Andrew about on the on the machines. Yes. And, but have you all finished now? No, no, three quarters of the way through. Okay. Still have the rate. Yep. But um, it hasn't been a great summer, rain, sun, rain. Yeah. Okay. So a little bit behind, but still on track. Fantastic. Yeah. Sorry, tell me the name of the farm, just for... Okay, Orchard Place Farm. In Seven Mile Lane in seven Kent? Seven Mile Lane in Kent, yes. Fantastic. Now, it goes back a long way, this uh, it does. family, does it, with it farming does. wise? It does. You're probably best off speaking to Andrew. Of course, but I love talking to young ladies. Thank you very much. Okay, so thank tell you. the viewers, what's your name then? My name is Julie. Julie, thank you, Julie. Thank oh, you for your welcome. time. welcome. And hopefully see you up before we finish harvest. Well, that'd be fantastic. I'll be yes. done mine. I don't want to be a pain. No, no, no. We just have to go across the road, you know, from the yeah, farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're there next. Oh, fantastic. So there's plenty of room. You're a great girl. Yeah, yeah. See you later, mate. Bye-bye. Oh. He's always talking. I can't never talk to him. Sit down there and... <laughs> 
it's just, it's just. Some days you go down there. Down there. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. How are you this morning? Fine, thank you. And you? Yeah, I'm great. Uh, seeing machines like this makes me smile. Well, that's always good. That's a good thing. You've got a machine yourself, haven't you? Because yeah, last time I saw it, it wasn't quite steaming, was it? You were at uh, Goblins. You were at Goblins? <laughs> yes. Because yeah. uh, yeah. you built it basically yeah. yourself, didn't you? Yeah. Don't you walk away, you. I want to have a chat with you as well. <laughs> so, how's it all going? Is it getting there? Yeah, we're pretty much the sewn up now, yeah. Really? Really. So, yeah. anything else left on it? We've got, yeah, there's a couple of little things we want to finish off and add to it. But, um, yeah, we're pretty much there with it now. Yeah. So, with it. tell me, I know it's a question you shouldn't ask somebody, especially if your wife's in the background or you're probably divorced because you've got a machine no, like no, this. No, she's happily married. Happily married. Yeah. So, if I had to put a price on it, what you've spent on it, a reason, you know. What I mean, not I have absolutely no idea. Because you I don't. Started, I started very religiously every invoice, but no, towards the end, you, you just can't do it. <coughs> but it's got so, many thousands. Oh obviously. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But true. it's it's your passion. It is. I don't play golf. I don't go in the boozer. That's it. You don't chase dirty women, do you? Well, not me. <laughs> it's the wife. <laughs> That's fine. Only these things. Yeah. Only so, chase these. Have you got to put a cab on it or anything like no, that? No, these didn't have cabs. No, they just no, straight, straight as it is. Yeah. Everyone can see you. Well, it'd be great to come down when you actually got it steaming. Yeah, certainly. Well, we do some of the playing matches through the year. so. Well, I'll be at the Wilder King, so I'll press you. will be there. Have you got a Wilder King? Yeah. Fantastic. So tell us your name. Paul Ramsley. And you're from? Tunbridge. Tunbridge. And your name of your machine's called? It's called The Mistress. It's the a, Mistress. It's a Fowler. Playing engine called the right. mistress. Right, and guess who named it? <laughs> the missus. Yeah. Now the, the, the other chap I want to speak to, he's just climbed up on top of it. He's the lorry driver, isn't he? He is. Yes. And he's got yes. several machines himself, he isn't has, he? Yes. Yeah. Tell us his name for the viewers. That's Peter Denham. And uh, he does transport through all your guys. He moves all our engines about, but he's a very good engine man anyway. And, uh, <coughs> Excuse me, it's the steam. It's getting up in, <laughs> down my throat. Not used to it. No, that's that's the thing. Anyway, have a great day. Thank you very much. Thank I'll you. see you later. See you later. Carry on. <laughs> All right, Andrew. Hello there. Quick, before you start talking to somebody else. So, what brings you here today? You've got the lovely Mrs. Sawyer. Can I say you're punching a little bit? So. <laughs> oh, bless you. <laughs> so, tell us what you got here today, Andrew. Uh, we got our Fowler Road Locomotive, 1920. Um, and uh, yeah, we've just come over to the Edenbridge and Oxford show. Um, here all weekend. Um, yeah, here for the weekend. Yeah, came in yesterday. So, uh, and uh, yeah, we're here just now. Where is the prosecco? You, I mean, you must have it stashed somewhere because the wife wouldn't go anywhere without oh. prosecco, would she? Or a well, glass of uh, well, we got a bit, yeah, we got a bit of booze stashed away somewhere. somewhere. Nice. But we had a few nice pints of Larkins in the beer tent last night. So. Yeah. It'd be rude not yeah. to, wouldn't it? So, no, it would be, that's right. So. Now, you've been on the channel a few times. Yes. I've just had the invitation from your wife that I can come and watch you harvest again, which would be great. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. look forward to it, yeah, because well, I don't want to be a pain. No, 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 no. Well, we're sort of getting towards being finished now. We probably should be at home harvesting now. I've got some beans and some oats to finish, but only three or four days work and then I should be done. Really? So. so if I'm around Tuesday, are you about Tuesday? Yeah, should be, yeah, yeah, somewhere. Oh, okay. Yeah. So tell me, how did you get a machine like this to show? We generally move them on a low loader. We got our own lorry and low loader. And so I can, I'm very fortunate I can use that, move it about myself. Um, but uh, we should drive yourself as yeah. well. You drive your own low loader. Yeah, 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 I can drive the, drive the low loader. So we brought them all, this one, all these came on low loaders actually, oh, but, um, <coughs> Sorry, the steam's getting to me. But uh, you could, I could quite happily drive this on the road. It'll probably we're we're probably about 20 miles away from where we, you know, where we one of our bases where we keep the engine and um, yep. from Hadlow. And, and you got uh, rubber tires. Yeah, on this so one as this well. will, this will tramp along. So you know, probably four or five hours I could do it. And next year I might might well road it 
drive that, it over. That so, would make a lovely video as well. Yeah, it would do, yeah, yeah. And yeah with just, a, a few cameras yeah. placed on it. That's it. And oh, well, I'm, I'm stop, look forward to stop that. Stop for a pub lunch halfway. Oh, yeah. you're lighting my candle, Andrew. Fantastic. Yeah, no, it's, it's, um, yeah, so that's something we'd like to do and run it on the, you know, because it is, a, it, it is a road engine. It is a road loco, so it's the three-speed, fully sprung, road loco that would have been used for haulage and heavy haulage yep. so spent most of all its working life in Suffolk hauling timber and stone and really? agricultural products so um, what sort of era would that be sort of wise time wise well this was bought in 1920s so that would have been you know throughout the 20s and 30s really. Oh, really we don't we don't know an awful lot about its working life history really we don't know um, you know when it was sort of it's not a ploughing engine, no. No, is it? no, no. Now this I know is, in your this community, is a road, this is a road engine. I know in your community you have got some ploughing. We have, yes, yeah. And yeah. they'll be at the ploughing matches this year, will they? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, we'll be at our usual, usual ploughing matches of um, East Kent, Gravesend, Rochester, Wheeler, Kent. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, Wheeler, Kent. So yeah, so we'll, we'll be be there with the other ploughing engines. I suspect this one's going there. So, uh, oh, but um, yeah. We'll be oh, there. I look forward to it. And now you give me that invitation to get, uh, ride on your machine as well and uh, stop for a pub lunch. Do yeah. I have to buy me pub, pub lunch? I suppose well, I have you got to buy us lunch? I thought. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm as rich as you, are not I? So where's Dad today and Uncle? Uh, oh, well, they're both they're both at home. So uh, both working, keeping us. The, the no, no, the, no oh, probably not. No, no, no they're relaxed. They're, in their, uh, they're, you know, making the most of their retirement. So, I mean, exactly. you know. And you're on camera, so when they watch it back later, they so you're causing them lazy, really, aren't you? No, not at all. No, 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 no. They, they, uh, they like to, you know. I know your dad very well, and yes. uh, he likes to muck in and still yeah, be no, the governor does, as but, well. Um, I think they're going, they're doing something with my sister and her kids and whatever. So. Uh, yeah, they're having some family time at home. So. Right, so now tell me a little bit about the farm. Now obviously it's been in the family a few generations there. It has, it? yes, yep. And what is your main crop you Well we're soft, we're soft fruit and arable really, so we um, so strawberries and raspberries and then combinable crops, wheat, obviously great wheat, barley, beans and oats I've had this year, so uh, which I've done um, over about 750 acres, so Fantastic. and I've uh, done all the done all the Aussie break. Well, we started with our winter barley, then did the Aussie break, then did the wheat, and I've just got some oats and beans to finish next week. Hopefully, if the weather's weather's nice. Fantastic. So, now, now, you're only the owner, one of the owners of the farm, but you're the worker. You're the main driving force of the farm. Now, that, you don't often see that these uh, days, do you? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, some and some really. I guess. Um, yeah, I do. I've got one employee who's full-time employee, full-time tractor driver, and I've got another couple of guys that I can call in, like at harvest time, or if I just need a, if I just need an extra driver for a week or a couple of weeks or whatever, I've got a few guys that I can call on to um, come and help. Now, I like your farm because your lovely wife, she pops out with sandwiches and teas and coffee. <laughs> bit old fashioned in some ways, isn't it? Uh, Stop for know, lunch yeah, in the got, field. Yeah, you've got, you got to try and make it, you know, yeah, it's nice. It's, um, you know. I think it's great. All, all work, what do they say? All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy or something. Exactly. Well, I mean, yeah. if you look back at all the photographs of time yeah. gone past, I mean, the family at harvest time used to come out in the field with the teas yeah, and the sandwiches. Harvest, harvest is, I always think it's quite a special, it's a special time of year, you know, it's it's nice and you, you know, it's hard work and we do long hours and, and uh, this year's been a bit of a challenge with uh, the weather sometimes, but, but we've got through the bulk of it now and uh, no, it's nice just to just to turn the machines off for 20 minutes and sit on the edge of the field and have a cu cup of tea and a bit of cake oh, and fantastic. just have a chat and it's not and just enjoy you know just chill for a little yeah, while yeah just 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 yeah. just enjoy it. it's a special it's a special harvest is a special time of year you're reaping you know? the benefits it's of your hard yeah, work it is, aren't you it is, well andrew right. it's so, always a pleasure to talk to you and good. you're always good on camera thank you i bring my best friend along <laughs> most of the time and uh, poke it in your face and you yeah. never say no so. no no that's all right it's all fantastic and i look yeah. forward to good. Bill, when you're on your yeah, arms. Yeah, yeah, come and, come and so, see. So, quick before, before I go, tell us your full name and the farm, farm, farm name and where you're from. So, Andrew Pierce, Orchard Place Farm near uh, near Borough Green. Thanks for your time, Andrew. Okay, cheers then. Thank cheers. You.
there's a chat. Now, unfortunately, our interview got deleted on my SD card. It's cr corrupted. So, unfortunately, I've got the pleasure, well, I'm not unfortunate, I like talking to you. A chat like yourself. Of history. So, Peter. <laughs> Tell us your name, Peter. Peter Mitchell. And you're from? West Kingstown. Now this chap here was the instigator of me getting involved in tractors. I went along to a show once and we started chatting. He invited me down his place and I've never looked back. And there's a, there's a, a, a gentleman, there's not many of us left, Peter, is there? No, no. And you've got a few machines. You've been on the channel before, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. And uh, you're a young man of how many age, uh, age group? 86. 86 and still enjoying life? Yeah. Fantastic. Have you got machines here today, Peter? Yeah, I've got my little narrow dexter there. Little narrow dexter? Yeah. Oh, okay. The one you saw us doing in the workshop. Oh, lovely. When I said I was taking the gearbox out and doing this, that and the other, wasn't I? And putting a live drive in yeah. it and all that sort of thing, yeah. yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Now, you go to most of these shows, don't you? Um, yeah, quite a lot, yeah. Yeah, and the ploughing matches? Yeah, yeah, I'm only doing three ploughing matches this year. Yeah. Yeah. But you enjoy it, don't you? It gets you out and about, doesn't it? That's mine, and, and every time I come round your house, it's not just you, there's two or three mates, and uh, you go right. after all the competitions. And, That's right, And yeah. you talk about tractors. Yeah. Since, um, since my wife died, like 12 years ago, it's kept me going, my hobby. Well, exactly, yeah. exactly. This is my best friend, yeah. you know, and uh, this is what I can talk in front of a camera, I can't talk to people. Anyway, Peter, yeah. I appreciate your time. Good, good. Have a great weekend. I'm going to do it. Look after yourself. Yeah, bye. Cheers, mate. Around the country this year, when you get shows all over the country. Any sort of, I don't know, DIY, whatever you do. <laughs> the problem is it's made it so it's impossible for small Sorry, guys. That's the uh, one. Uh, now, whether it's in farm use, industrial use, I should imagine industrial use of some sort. It's in fine fact. And of course you got, as I like to call them, their working clothes tracks are right next door to it. And always, I, I tell you what, I want someone on the channel to tell me why these folds have always got on the nose. Now, I've had several different people tell me, was well, the radiator, the condensation, this, that and everything. Or is it the metal? Anyway, put us right, would you? Put folds. It's a tractor, yeah, I know. Are you looking forward to it? Are you going to drive it? You are. It's going to drive the tractor. And yeah. Who's this mum? Hello, mum. He wants to get up. Come on, mum. Do your job. So tell us. The name, please. I can't ask if a male or female these so days. This is Henry. This is Henry. He's obviously a boy. Yeah. Lovely got, hair. Uh, I've got hair like when I go out in the rain. It's wild. It just goes like that. <laughs> what, what does the tractor make? What noise does the tractor make? What does it noise make? What does it do? Exactly. What does the tractor do? Does it do that? <laughs> Up there, I yeah, know. Hey. Big boys toys. Which one prefer? This one or this one? Which do you like this you one? Like Which one? Uh, and that one over there. I know. You like them all, don't you? Well, I really enjoy talking to you today. So, so thank you. Tell me his full name. The so Henry Marshall. Marshall. Where's Henry from? See, he's from Billericay. Would you, uh, Mum, do me a favour and lift her sunglasses up? Then I can see her face, then. <laughs> Fantastic. And where are you from, Mum? Originally? Same. Same area. Yeah. Same. Okay. Well, and uh, what's your name? Sarah. Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Right. And thank you for letting me film. Oh, that's okay. Okay. Have a great day. Thank you. Okay. Cheerio. See you later. Say bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.
Good morning, guys. Now, I've spoke to you all before, but I'm going to speak to you all again. Well, one or two of you. This is a fine looking tractor. I've spoke to it before. Don't all do a runner on me. Oh, have a great day, guys. What's your name? What's your name? Hey, hey. Hello. <laughs> Doing morning, guys. Yeah, morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You too. Yeah, nice whip, but nice one you did last year. Last week. Last year. You were here last year. Yes, I yeah. did. Yeah, that's all. What about the one there. last week? What I troubled with? Uh, I didn't. Uh, you okay. ain't viewed it yet. Have I you? viewed it. No, no. Oh, what you like? Anyway, yeah. what are you here for today? Uh, the normal. You know. Old tractors, yeah, old yeah, machines, yeah, yeah. sunny day, yeah, yeah. lots of drink, lots of eats. Oh no, we don't do that. We don't do anything. Speaking good. to friends. Yeah, yeah. And fantastic. <laughs> What's your name again? Angus. Angus. I remember that name well. And yourself? That's the main thing. Exactly. That's what these shows used to be about, didn't it? The countryside shows. You come and meet, because after all, farmers, busy people. Once or twice a year they come in to these events and yeah, after our business is finished, catch up. Catch up. What's, who's got what tractor and uh, yeah, that's who. What's your name? Graham. Graham. Is this your vehicle? Yeah. RAF I presume? Yeah. And for, was it loading bombs or something like that during the war? I can't hear, I do apologise. Towing them out of the aircraft. Yeah. And, uh, well, we can tow an aircraft, I suppose, really, isn't it? Fantastic. What, what, are and we talking Lancasters and that sort of thing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. so it's got some great history to it, isn't it? Well, it hasn't, actually, this, this one. No? I don't know, no history at all, of it, actually, no. How did you all find it? Did you find it in this condition? No. Or come up and said, well, are you interested? You know, that's, what, that's where most of it comes, isn't it? Really, I've got the big old one. That's yep. what we've always been on the, on the um, oh. battlefield, that has. Yeah, the big old one, bigger than this. Yeah. Well, guys, lovely to talk to you. Yeah, okay. And uh, always a pleasure. Yeah. Have a great weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Won't we won't, won't take up too, your, too much of your filming. Morning. Good night, sir. We've filmed you before, haven't we? I think you have. Yes. And you've got a great exhibition going on there. You've got a little worm gardener generator. Oh, it's a, ge a, a generator and compressor. Yeah. And uh, you've got a big looking thing there. What, tell me what that is again? Gardener stationary engine, but it's 98 horsepower and 240 rim on a single cylinder. Would you do me a favour? Would you go up there and we can have a closer look to it? If you stand just over there, we can talk to you in the background. Just sure. stand there. Fantastic. Yeah, so, how long have you owned these machines? Uh, over 30 years. Over 30 years? Really? So you're a gardener man, are you? You're not? Oh, okay. You've got to power off, you know. Okay, fair enough. But what made you put this exhibition together? A fling? Just something to do with a weekend? Yeah. Well, the chap who was heavily involved, Flint, said no. That was his passion, you know, station engine. Yeah. And I, I was a volunteer. Oh, okay. But then, when poor old Cliff died, yeah. he left it to Tony and myself. Because oh, really? Because his boys weren't interested. No. So you've been carrying on the history from there? Yeah, we're carrying on, yeah, we're trying, yeah, we're getting older and silly, but yeah, we're... Oh, ain't we all? But it's a you know, what a great looking piece of kit you've got there, and please carry on. And, and we can take it different places, that's the thing. That's the thing. If you look a lorry up to it, or a tractor up to it, or away you go. Yeah, all right, yeah, I mean... Fantastic. Fantastic, so just before you go, what's your name? John. John. Charman. John Charman. And you're from where, John? I live in Whitney, got him in Charlotte. Thanks for your time, John. Well done. Cheers.
morning. Right, Your right. machine? Yes. This looking in fine fell. You're polishing it all the time. Are you going to wear that bit of brass out there? <laughs> it's not, it's because when you bring it here on the train, it rounds about and the, this leaks and the water runs down there and marks it. It makes it all brown. green. Yeah. Fantastic. Now tell us a little bit about the machine and how long you owned it for and what's it uh, doing? Uh, it's a Bath and Perkins footpath roller. Footpath roller? Yeah, I've oh, had okay. it about this one, I've had about 10 years, I suppose. Really? Fantastic. And did you get it in that condition or did you do no, it? No, no, it's a box of bits when I got it. Really? Uh, I packed them out, all the canopy, the bonnets. Fantastic. You're, you're killing me with the sun, so I'll have to come around a little oh. bit more. That's better. Turn towards me. That's it, you ain't got to polish all the time. <laughs> so, so, horsepower wise? Uh, 11 horsepower. 11 horsepower. And what era would it be from? Uh, 1930s, I would say. 1930s. 1930s. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, probably up to the war sort of time, and then when yeah. all the tractors started coming across yeah. from America. Yeah. It all got put in the hydro after that, didn't it, really? Yeah, no, you couldn't get spares for these after the war, apparently. Really? Yeah. It's unusual. It's a lovely little small job, isn't it? Yeah. Perfect little. And you, could you put it on a trade, or does it go, go on a lorry? No, no, trailer, that's why. I've got a few of these. And Have you? Yeah, and I'll, I'll only buy them because they're under two and a half tons. Oh, so you can put them on a, a normal three and a half ton trailer and yeah. tie them about. That's the beauty of it, yeah. is it? This is why I like great burgers. You can put them on a trailer, take them anywhere you like. Yeah. And they're simple, a bit like me. I'm simple, so I like things that are simple, like, you know what I mean? But, well, be very proud of yourself because you've made a great job on it and uh, it looks superb. Anyway, so before I go, tell us your name and where you're from. Uh, Robert Deards, and I'm from Poe, near Rochester. Oh, not too far, then. No. Well, if you've got a few of them, perhaps yeah. I can pop down and we'll have a chat and we, you could talk about them if that's yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, look forward to that. I think I've been well looking forward to it. What I'll do, I'll give you a card. Now, oh, do right. me a favour. Yeah. Don't throw that away until I'm out of eye shot. Oh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Make you feel good. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> all right, then. Cheers oh, for time. I assume there's going to be a tractor. Yes, we're going to have a tractor rally sometime. No, no. What's your name? My name's Peter Herrington, I'm come from Essex. Okay. I've got a Ford 4000 over there and uh, a restored weekly trailer. Well, oh, fantastic. That's a, I think about 1948. Whereabouts is that? Is that close by? Two over, three over from that combine over there. Ah, all right. Well, perhaps I'll, if you wander over here in a minute, we'll have a chat about yours. Oh, love a job. Cheers, Super. mate. Thank you. That's a lovely sight, eh? <laughs> I, I just caught you on camera just no, in time. You didn't. <laughs> Fantastic. We've got a, what is this in front of me here? 
uh, it's a portable steam engine. Portable steam engine. Now tell me they were drawn to the uh, fields with what, horses? Horses, other machinery, men. I mean, this one's quite small, you could pull it with a few men, as long as the hill wasn't too big, so. Yeah. yeah. And what would it drive? Saw bench, saw bench, machinery, um, thrashing units, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, thrashing drums, um, chaff cutters, line shafting in a workshop, um, anything. So. Okay. Now it's obviously a Fowler's or a ransom. So what is it? It's a ransom. It's a ransom. Of course, it is yeah. back in the day. Yeah. What era would that be? 1923. 1923, and used up till what period do you think? I don't know. It was worked in South Africa all its life. Oh really? So you've imported it from South yeah, Africa? Yeah, it came back from South Africa, yeah, oh, okay. uh, to this country. So it's, uh, it's not been in this country too many years. Yep. It's been completely restored over here. So. Yep. Get your lovely girlfriend in it. I presume that I can't say that at these days, can I? <laughs> girlfriend, partner, wife, whatever. whatever it's I am. the person <laughs> alongside you. That's yeah. fantastic. So, how many horsepower would this be? Two and a half. Two and a half horsepower. And obviously, the, the uh, smoke stack, because we call it a smoke stack, we don't call it a chimney, do we? Chimney, yeah. Chimney, and oh, we can call it a chimney. Is that fold down? Yeah, it, it comes back into the cradle here. Yep. It comes down into the cradle. So. Are you going to start it now, are you? Yeah. Oh, it's fantastic. So what is the best of the back of the engine? What's your name, you see? Uh, Lauren and John. Lauren and John, where are you from, Lauren? Uh, Ken. Ken? Yeah. Fantastic. And you're obviously come along with your partner to support? Yeah. Polishing. Polishing? Support, polishing, whatever he needs, <laughs> I guess. That's a great thing to say. That's why I'm wife to do anything. How can you be married and still have that? Well, it's, it's obviously divorced. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be something. Well, that's why I'm not married. All oh, right. Got you, mate. Have a great day. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> What's your name then? <laughs> hey? Oh yes. There's this fluffy thing on top. Yeah, I know. I know. You having a good day? Yeah, one more for good. yes, one more for no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <God. laughs> Morning chaps, are we doing alright? Yeah. Soaring plenty of wood. <laughs> Where are you from guys? Uh, Lewis. Lewis. And you got a few of these machines, have you? Yeah, we've got a couple. A couple, just a couple. Okay. Is that dad <laughs> on there, is it? No. Is that dad up there, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dad's son, grandson, is it? Yeah. But, uh, are you carrying on the family tradition, are you? I think so. Are they bending your arm a little bit, are they? We have no. trouble getting him to come here because he has to go and watch football. <laughs> That's a crazy sport. 22 millionaires running around a field, doesn't it, eh? Multi-millionaire. Multi yeah. <laughs> yeah, billions. So I won't let you stop, but I'm going to film you doing a little bit of your patting, if that's all right.
Oh, good morning. Oh. Good morning. <coughs> How are we all doing today? Yeah, very well. Can I film a little? Yeah, yeah of course, yeah. 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 Tell me your name. My name's John. John. Laura. 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 Grace. <coughs> Chris. Uh, hold on. I'll get this one in. What's your name? Valentina. Yeah. Valentina. Valentina. Is yeah. that Italian? I think so. It is. Is your mum Italian? No. No? <laughs> it's her nanny. I'm Nan. Oh, Nan. Sorry. <laughs> Nan. We were half so, Irish. This is her daughter. This is her daughter. My granddaughter. Your granddaughter. Yeah. So tell me, Nan, you tell me you, you watch the videos a little bit, do you? Yeah, I do. And do you enjoy them? In what? Do you enjoy, enjoy the videos? Oh, excellent. Now, yeah. I always ask this question. Now, is there anything that you'd like to see on the channel or to improve the channel? I'd like to see you do some stuff in Scotland. In regards it's always to... one, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, it's always, always one. one. It is. It's yeah. always one. And the, I found it, didn't I? No. <laughs> you know, but, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's a lot of traction stuff. But it's you. lovely meeting you guys you. because uh, you, you see me on the, on the, on the computer and you think, who's that idiot there? And I try and do my best. I'm old, decrepit, and all that sort of thing. <laughs> okay, I love talking to people. Yeah. And I'm passionate about this green stuff. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Totally, because yeah. without the green stuff. That's my cool. wife. She's a Hello, wifey. <laughs> What's your name, wifey? I'm Jill. Jill. Because I can't call you wife no more. I can't no. call you girlfriend, no. wife, partner. No. Because I get in trouble from you two. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. anyway. Sun's out. Yeah. The seco's coming out later, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so I'll catch you later. Sorry, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Take care. Bye bye.